Hello and welcome to The Room for Old Sims, which is honestly a game that I didn't think I would ever be covering in the channel. But if you remember, last year, around April, I made a walkthrough for the first three Room games, The Room, The Room 2, and The Room 3, and I did a blind let's play of The Room VR when it came out as well. But the one game that I did not cover is The Room for Old Sims because this game was not on PC. And while I could technically record on the iPad, I really don't like doing that because it's a pain in the ass. So, instead, I said that I would cover The Room for Old Sims if it ever came to PC, and what do you know? It, is, it has finally come to PC, so... I'm going to be once again providing a full game walkthrough for this, covering all the chapters, all the puzzles in full detail, so that you have a nice comprehensive guide in case you ever get stuck on any of the puzzles while you're playing through it for the first time on PC. So, without further ado, let's just jump right into it and start a new game. I've searched every room in the house but this attic. I won't get much further in the dark. Click and drag the screen to look around. Yep, it's the same. Uh, if, if these controls are familiar, it's because they're the same controls that were in the original trilogy on PC. Of course, if you're playing on mobile, then, you know, the controls will just be to, to tap around the screen. Uh, like, like to drag your finger around the screen to turn it around. I'll need to turn on that floodlight if I'm going to find out what's over there. Double click the floodlight to focus on it. Flip the switch. Yeah, for, for the first part of this level, it's going to be very hand-holdy because, you know, it's just it's the tutorial, so the, they kind of walk you through how to do most of this. I think it's broken. I, I'll need a screwdriver for my case. So let's right-click to zoom out, and then zoom in on, on the case by double-clicking to zoom in, and lift these latches up by dragging them up, and then fully open the case like so. And now we get a little bit of a better idea of why we're here. My notebook holds all the information I was given for this assignment. A case of a missing husband and wife in London in 1899. And it's, and it's led us to this house, specifically this attic, try to figure out the mystery of what's going on here. Anyway. Uh, so we need the screwdrivers. So let's go ahead and pick this up from the suitcase. And then we can go ahead and back out. Oh, never mind. We, won't, yeah, we have to double click the notebook first. Double click it. And let's give you some story details. Subject profile, name, Edward Lockwood, age 32, height 176 centimeters. Notes, trained as a mechanical engineer, dabbled in chemistry, marriage to Abigail Waldegrave, raised status, led to assistant position at the Royal Institute. Position lasted one year, dismissal occurred due to an unspecified misconduct. Spouse profile, name, Mrs. Abigail Lockwood, knee Waldegrave, uh, age 28. Height, 162 centimeters. Notes, classically trained artist, known for funny exhibitions. Only child of the esteemed Hugo Waldegrave. Marriage to Edward was controversial. On her father's death, Abigail inherited Waldegrave Manor and family's substantial debt. Collector report. For, uh, November 1st, Mr. Lockwood's reports to my employers have ceased. Probable interference by his wife, current whereabouts unknown. November 12th, police search of Waldegrave Manor yields nothing. These matters are far beyond their understanding. November 14th, my employers insist the sample remains within Waldegrave Manor. By now, its effects will, will, will be unmistakable, excuse me, to a trained eye. Find the trail and follow it to its source. And that is where our story picks up right now. We have traced the source to this mysterious attic. What? What was that? I need a better look. Well, let's zoom in on the floodlight over here. And now we can use a screwdriver to open it up like so. And then fully flip the panel open like so. And now that we're in here, complete the circuit. And now is when we actually get to, uh, we get to use our brain to solve some puzzles. So all we got to do is just complete the circuit. So drag this up and that will, well, turn on the floodlight. By the way, that, that puzzle is a bit more complex on the um, on, on the mobile version because you have to uh, you you have to hold that bottom piece up while sliding something else up on the top. But because we're on PC, we don't have that functionality. So some puzzles might be a little bit different from the mobile version just because, like I said, you don't have two fingers to work with, or you don't you don't have two hands to work with 
uh, because you, you just have the mouse, so, but for the most part, I imagine the puzzles will pretty much be largely the same. A dollhouse, something isn't right. Don't look at the dollhouse to explore. Investigate this dollhouse. Well, let's try to zoom in on the front gate right here. And if we turn this around, like so, it will open up the gate. Now, if we pull these doors open all the way, it will also open up the front door. However, we can't actually get inside because it seems to be obscured by something. This surface looks unusual. I'll need something else for my case. Now, of course, veteran room plays know what we're about to collect. But for those who are new to the franchise, allow me to introduce you to the most notorious element of these games. Everyone has secrets. Mine just happens to be inside this box. If we pull down this, lich, this switch right here, what are we going to find? We're going to find an eyepiece. I'll need to open this for it to be any use. How do we open it, you may ask? Well, uh, you can click on the item you just collected in your inventory over here on the left-hand side, and many items can be interacted with further if you open them up in your inventory. Now, all we have to do is just flip, around, flip the eyepiece around to this side, and then pull the switch down to fully open it up and reveal the eyepiece for this game. Now, we have this equipped permanently, so anytime we need, to, anytime we see a surface like the one that was present on the front door of the dollhouse, we can click this button right over here, and reveal a whole new world of hidden details. Break the seal, find the null. Sometimes the eyepiece can be used to see things that are otherwise hidden. Just click that icon again to remove the eyepiece. I should use the eyepiece to examine the dollhouse. Yes, we should. Don't worry, there, there won't be this much, uh, uh, uh like, we, we, we won't be stopped from, from progressing all that much longer. It's just the, it's just the introductory level. Anyway, we're gonna zoom in on the door right here, put on our eyepiece, and now we have another puzzle. You'll see the furniture here is a little bit out of whack, uh, and it's, it's made pretty clear what you have to do because there's some lines on the floor, ceiling, and wall that kind of tell you what you gotta do. You gotta slide the chair against the wall, slide this painting up toward the ceiling, and then slide the chandelier directly towards the center to straighten out the hallway just like so. And now the first area of the dollhouse has been revealed for us. So let's put on our eyepiece, double click on the symbol, and zoom into, our, into the first proper level of the game, the foyer. I could have timed that better with the text actually appearing on screen, but you know what, we're gonna roll with it. All right, first things first, we're gonna double click on this little book that we find right here. And if we open it up, This isn't necessary to the gameplay, by the way. This is just kind of some extra story details. They are unloading up apparatus by the cartload, and I see my husband transform into a wide-eyed child. He hasn't been this animated since he left the Royal Institute. The men work in silence and stand awkwardly in my presence. Heads down. Silent. They will not hold my gaze. They look so desperate if I move aside stay out of their way. Why are certain men so threatened by women of intelligence? They will warn to me as they come to know me. Oh, sorry, warm to me as they come to know me, I am sure. The main thing is that Edward is working again. And that's about all there is to it for now. So yeah, just, just some fun little story details. It seems the books and stalls hold more than their covers suggest. I suspect that they will be the key to uncovering what happened here. Indeed they will. But for now, we got some puzzles to solve. So let's zoom in on the underside of this box right here and then spin the dial around to reveal ourselves a brass mechanical coin. Now let's zoom out and click in on the coin, and then if we pull this up, it will reveal a special little shape. Now, does, does, does this shape look familiar? Well, it probably shouldn't, but if you zoom in close to the center here, you'll notice that it kind of matches this little shape, so let's put it, uh, let's put the coin in the centerpiece right here. Now, we can put on our eyepiece and zoom into the center area right here, and you'll notice that there are some constellations in the distance, that we have to, that, that we can uh, rearrange by spinning this dial around. And we have to get it such that they line up with the, uh, with the symbol in the center right over here, which isn't all that complicated. You can rotate the outer, uh, the, 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 the upper dial to spin it around on this axis, but then if you rotate this bottom dial right here, you can actually spin it around in a more three-dimensional manner. So from here, what you want to do is you want to uh, rotate this around in this direction so that it lines up like so. And then just rotate the bottom dial so that it perfectly matches up with this like so. Then we can take the family crest that appeared. 
This looks like it belongs in the dollhouse. Yes, it does, indeed. If we right-click to zoom out, and then do so again, and then do it one more time, we will exit the foyer and appear on the outside of the dollhouse, and if we zoom into the top of the dollhouse, we can put the family crest where it belongs, like so. The seal the null must lie beyond. Well, if we if we click and hold right here. Some statues have been revealed to us, although only one of them actually has a, has a has an animal on top. So let's zoom in over here and then rotate the base of this so that the arrow lines up with uh, the arrows line up. And once you do that, a secret compartment will be revealed underneath it, which will give you access to a silver mechanical coin. Just like the other one, we can zoom in and then pull this up to uh, cause it to take another shape. Then we're going to zoom back into the foyer with the use of the eyepiece to re-enter the area, just like so. Then zoom in on the box one more time, flip the camera around, and align the silver mechanical coin with the back side, just like so. And then we have another constellation puzzle to solve, so let's zoom in once again with the eyepiece. It may not look like it from this angle, but this constellation right here actually is the symbol we need to align with this little curved angle right here. So let's rotate around so we can actually see that angle properly, and then rotate it around in this direction. So that we can get it to properly line up do it one more time spin it around get it in this direction and there's our symbol then we can take the ornate metal panel that we get as a result and now we have a bit of a cube puzzle to solve so on mobile I know you have to press these two buttons at the same time well first First, all you gotta do is just rotate this uh, outer ring so that these two buttons are at the top. On mobile, you have to push these buttons at the same time uh, with both hands, but on PC, I'm pretty sure you can just... Yeah, just, just click them one after the other and you'll be fine. Alright, so the goal here is gonna be to hit both uh, the blue buttons at the same time, followed by... Or not the same time, but one after the other, unless you're on mobile. Followed by these buttons at the same time. And we're gonna start with the blue buttons, so let's rotate this outer ring like so. Basically, you wanna get it so that the, the, the glass will cover the... The, the non blue buttons. So once you get one of the the non blue buttons covered up, you can flip the switch to flip it back around, and then do it one more time so that you so that both the buttons are accessible just like so. And now we're gonna do the same thing with the other buttons. Let's flip this around, lock it back in place, turn it around, and then hit both of these buttons at the same time. And now we have our next puzzle to solve. And this is actually gonna be the last puzzle we solve for this chapter. So let's make it a good one. We're gonna rotate first. We're gonna rotate the ring all the way around to reveal this blue diamond up here. Next, we're going to flip this top switch to the right-hand side, and then flip it around once more, and now both of the buttons have been revealed, so we can go ahead and push both of them like so. Next, if you want to rotate the ring around again to cause this glass panel to cover the blue diamond, flip the switch back, and before you rotate it around, you want to make sure you lock this bottom switch so, the, so that the yellow diamond doesn't go all willy-nilly on you. Then rotate it around once again, hit both of the squares, and finally, for the yellow diamond, simply flip the switch like so, so that they, so that they all fall down here, then lock them both into place so that you can reveal the final yellow diamond, and then hit both of those buttons, I said hit both of those buttons at the same time, to reveal your final artifact for the chapter. And once you take this, the chapter will be completed. Foyer complete. I have found the seal my employer spoke of. It is weakened, but far from broken. I am clearly on the path to finding the null element. And that'll be it for now. So, thanks for watching, stay tuned for next time, and hope to catch you all tomorrow for some more of the Room 4 Old Sins. Goodbye.